Hey, hi there, Capricorn. Welcome to my weekly predictive reading for March 2020. Cross-watcher energies are interchangeable, and please only take those portions that resonate with you. These are general readings. Okay, Capricorn, off-camera to save time, I've performed a protective blessing. I meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. And we will be using a card from the Oracle deck, Ask Your Guides by Sonia Choquette. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the basis of the matter. This is the situation at hand. The Eight of Cups, Capricorn. Water energy. This is an emotional turning point. This is knowing what you want, and you won't settle for anything less. So you're moving on. It's the ability to leave something behind in order to go on to new concerns. The cups have not fallen, so there's no disaster. You just know that it's time to move on. And now you need some quiet and a chance to be alone. This is someone that's close to losing all hope in a romance and they may walk away from it. It can also mean that there's an affectionate person surrounding you. You see, they care. He had care and he collected those cup, cups and he, his, the way he's placed them has shown his previous concern. But now he's abandoning them totally. The moon in both its full and waiting quarters looks on signifying the end of something and the beginning of something new. This card indicates leaving the past behind. It's your dreams and visions, which are not immediately obvious, that make up a valuable part of your feelings. Let them help your consciousness and your powers of discrimination grow. Start searching, but be aware of the card's warning about the kind of restlessness that strides on too hastily, missing the very goal. the cups. It's going with the flow, and it's following the flow of energy that not only takes the least effort, but it also achieves the best results. The moon evokes the thoughts of inner depths and shadows, and what was important is no longer. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. The Ace of Swords, Capricorn. Air energy. This is the root of all air energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This is a new beginning. It's new clarity. It's a breakthrough. It's in truth. It's a realization. This is the warrior suit. Swords, also known as spades, represent air and intellect, mind, thoughts, the love of truth and justice and spirituality, and they can express boldness and courage and indicate strife. It's a card of great power of force and strength. This is a new beginning. It's a new direction in your life. You'll have triumph over difficulties. It's a spark, and there's strength in adversity. This can turn out promising. There's a sense of inevitable change that comes with this card. You'll need to build your strength against adversity and study all aspects of a problem carefully and do not make any rash or hurried decisions. Communication is in need of clarifying. This always delivers a reality of a situation. New perspectives emerge and with them new convictions, so seek and seize the truth. It's getting to the point and checking facts. It's being alert, scrupulous, disciplined, honest. Rational, principled, fair-minded, and insightful. There's no gray area and there's no compromise. It's all one way. The Eight of Cups with the Eight of Swords is clarity on why you are walking away from an emotional situation. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you are consciously aware of. Capricorn, the Three of Cups, Water Energy. This is a card of celebration, rejoicing, it's ritualistic, it's fun, you'll get to enjoy yourself, it's a celebrating with friends and family, going out to dinner, it could be celebrating a positive growth pattern, an engagement, or a wedding, something that's been brought to completion, and it brings in healing and abundance and cooperation with others, and shared experiences. This is a circle of friends, or could be reunions. This is only the beginning. 
There's still some more work to do ahead, and this is a positive group experience, a happy occasion. It's balanced emotion, gathering, festivals. The Eight of Cups with the Three of Cups is feeling more complete when celebrating with family and friends all together. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Knight of Wands, Capricorn, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Knights are always in movement. This is a very fast-moving card. It's adventure and journey, and it's, it could be a change of residence, could be a message coming in, coming or going of a matter. This person is impatient, and they're hasty. And uh, they can find that managing their money is a challenge. And they love to travel to fun places. Knights are younger in spirit, if not age, than the king or queens. And they're less established in life. They're, impas they're impulsive and passionate. They're full of eagerness and self-confidence. Yet they do not always know where they're going. And without those concrete plans, they can burn out before they achieve their goals. They're raring to go. This is a kickstart that spurns you on, spurs you on. It's someone always on a passionate mission, being in and out of the scene. There's action involved. It's poised for action, pursuit. Could be good news coming concerning work or social activities, even a journey or a vacation or a change of residence or job, the engagement or a marriage. Knights are driven by passion for a cause. Passion is the cause for the Knight of Wands. If it hastens the pulse and spikes the adrenaline or raises the stakes, this knight charges after it. The Eight of Cups with the Knight of Wands is moving to a place where dreams can come true. You may be leaving behind something that you've outgrown. The fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen is because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this. The Nine of Swords, Capricorn, Air Energy. This is feeling anxiety. Trouble sleeping because you wake up at night with thoughts racing through your mind and you can't get back to sleep. It's an unfounded anxiety. It brings low energy and insomnia and anxiety and the need to be patient. You'll need to talk about the problems you bury, speak up to solve these problems, or it brings regrets and nightmares. This suffering is in your mind. It's a mental torture. You'll need to make required changes for a better future. This can be ruined plans. It can be health worries. Steps should be taken to solve these problems, and you are near the end of your mental ordeal. So stop ignoring fears you've buried. This is a preoccupation with a past experience. You may be feeling unworthy or overly fearful, worried about the future, or overly sensitive to other people's opinions. You can confront your worries and fears, take steps to solve your problems, talk to someone, write in a journal, see a doctor. If you continue to doubt and fear, they will continue to haunt you. This is a high-stress card. The Eight of Cups with the Nine of Swords is facing your fears. It can be emotional exhaustion. It's wanting a new reality. The Ace of Swords with the Three of Cups is a victory in social settings. The Ace of Swords with the Knight of Wands is new, clear communication. It can be a trip that brings in fresh clarity or ideas. It can also mean learning a new language. The Ace of Swords with the Nine of Swords is suffering from what someone said publicly, either by you or someone about you. The Three of Cups with the Knight of Wands is friendships and action. It's celebrating a move or adventure. The Three of Cups with the Nine of Swords can represent bad company, friendship anxiety, or celebrating even though feeling helpless or hopeless. The Knight of Wands with the Nine of Swords is guilty pleasures in your mind. Here's the advice from your Oracle card. Ask Your Guides by Sonia Choquette. Capricorn, you've got Partnerships and Love, card number two, from your Nature Spirits. Partnerships and Love. Infatuation, 
romance, connection, and introduction. Your nature spirits, known as runners, are working to introduce you to a wonderful new partnership to fulfill your heart's desire. Whether in the areas of business, business, friendship, or romantic love, these practical guides are leading you directly toward the appropriate person to best support your soul at this time. Follow your heart as they strive to connect you with the right associations. Be more open to others, especially those whom you meet by chance. Say hello to the new neighbor in your building, suggest having lunch with the intriguing woman who sat next to you at your last business luncheon, or strike up a conversation with the guy in front of you in the checkout line, even if it's not your usual habit. In reality, it's not accidental that you suddenly find yourself attracted to certain people. Your runners placed you in their path so you could meet. Invite these energetic nature spirits to continue to direct you to others who are significant for your soul path. Their message? Relax. We will make all the necessary introductions you seek. Thanks, you guys, Capricorn. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.